South China Morning Post, 14th of September 2022, Boeing's orders in China are expected to be disrupted in China, as the domestic C919 passenger jet is scheduled for certification. After local media reported that China's homegrown C919 narrow-body passenger jet could be certified as soon as Monday, analysts claimed that Boeing's returning to the crucial Chinese market might face another roadblock, citing anonymous sources close to the Shanghai-based manufacturer. The China Times Daily said on Tuesday that the C919, produced by the state-owned Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China (COMAC) will gain certification from China's aviation regulator at the start of next week. Without identifying any sources, the Yikai News Service claimed Tuesday that the C919 will be approved as soon as this month and that China Eastern Airlines will get the first delivery within the year. Requests for comment on the media stories were faxed to COMAC and the Civil Aviation Administration of China CAAC, but neither organization responded. The KICS certification would let COMAC begin shipping its C919, which has been developing since 2008. Despite several setbacks, the single-aisle C919 is designed to compete with the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320, and the anticipated approval marks a significant milestone for the Chinese domestic market. According to John Strickland, director of aviation at JLS Consulting, it is substantial in its local market, where it is likely to displace Airbus and Boeing sales, but this won't be easy to reproduce globally. Regular, dependable after-sales service and spares support in all areas where the aircraft may operate are essential since it takes time to establish a reputation. It won't be easy to accomplish this. China Eastern Airlines, based in Shanghai, is anticipated to be the first to fly the C919. The airline bought four aircraft in May for 99 million US dollars each. According to Andrew Charlton, executive director of aviation advocacy, I expect there will be a lot of pressure on the Chinese airlines to promote the C919, so yes, Boeing in China does not see a fast or straight road back. Since 2018, the widening divide between Beijing and Washington has affected Boeing's operations in China. Even though the KIC issued an airworthiness directive in December for the passenger plane, which has been grounded in China since March 2019 after 346 people died in two horrific disasters in Indonesia and Ethiopia in five months, the 737 MAX has yet to resume operations in the country. Four Chinese airlines placed a large order for 292 rival Airbus A320 single-aisle passenger planes in July, another victory for the Chicago-based aerospace giant. The C919 will probably impact Boeing orders in China in the long run, but Strickland believes political ties will be more significant. Air travel has been affected by the tech rivalry between China and the United States. American investors were barred from COMAC investments after Washington deemed the state-owned company owned or controlled by the People's Liberation Army. The C919 represents China's aspirations to gain a significant foothold in the trillion-dollar global jet market. Still, many of its parts are imported, with U.S. firms making up most of the top suppliers. According to local media, KIC chief Song Jiang stated in July that China's aviation market has also been negatively impacted by Beijing's rigorous zero-COVID policy, with total losses in the first half of 2022 exceeding those in both 2020 and 2021 put together. Comparing the average debt level before the coronavirus pandemic to the average debt level this year, Chinese carriers debt increased by 11.9% to 82.2%. During the recent three-day mid-autumn festival vacation, domestic tourist trips were down by 16.7% compared to a year earlier and 27.4% compared to pre-pandemic levels in 2019. This indicates that China's travel business is also struggling.